Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss IPv6 duplicate address detection. So in one of our videos, we have discussed that the host machines can be configured with IPv6 address using one of the following methods. So first method is static configuration, where we actually configure the IPv6 address on the client machine. For example, this is our host machine and we just go there and configure it, the IPv6 address manually. And the second method was that there is a DHCP, dynamic host configuration protocol, uh, the DHCP server, so stateful DHCP server is there and the client machine actually requests for IPv6 address from the DHCP server and DHCP server can assign the IPv6 address to the client. And the third method was a stateless address auto configuration where they, they have to make some calculations to find out the client part using EUI method. So we discussed in some videos. So anyway, whatever method is being used, if the client has the if the client has received an IPv6 address, then there are always a chance that some other host or some other client on the network may be using the same IPv6 address. Okay, for example, in this case, there these are three host machines. If we assign any IPv6 address, for example, to this host, I'm going to assign any 2001, and they can colon, colon, and then colon, colon, any. So any IPv6 address I assign to this I, this host machine, in, instantly, or at that moment, this may happen that maybe this host machine is also using the same IPv6 address. Or sometimes we, we can also do this deliberately. For example, I know that some of my friend is using that particular IPv6 address and I just go and use the exactly same IPv6 address. Just want to check that what will happen in that case. So in any case, if there is a duplication on that network, then there should be some mechanism or some method to find out that. And to solve that problem, we have this duplicate address detection. So duplicate address detection uh, provides a mechanism to make sure to make sure that no one else is using the same address. So before using that particular IPv6 address, which has been assigned to this host machine, this host machine must make sure that no one else on the network is using exactly same IPv6 address. And for checking or for checking this duplication. Duplicate address detection is a function which is used to, de to detect that. And duplicate uh, address detection, uh, duplicate address detection actually. So this not this should be. Uh, I should change it. So this is duplicate address detection. So duplicate address de detection is a function, and this uses neighbor discovery protocol. Uh, so this function itself uses neighbor discovery protocol to find out if there is an if there is any duplication of IPv6 addresses, and for to find out that or to find out that duplication, this function actually actually uses two messages, and one of the messages is neighbor solicitation. So this neighbor solicitation message is a part of neighbor discovery protocol, and during this message, this client machine or this host machine which has just received the IPv6 address, this will announce or this will ask the remaining host machines on the network that is there someone else who is using the exactly same IPv6 address which I have been assigned. So for example, if this IPv this has been assigned some IPv6 address, anyone, so it will it, it has to be announced by this client or this machine, this host asking this guy as well as this guy that are you using the exactly same IPv6 address? So why, by using this neighbor solicitation message or this NS message, which is part of NDP, it asks everybody and then when the remaining guys, when the remaining host machines on the net, when they receive this uh, neighbor solicitation message, now this is their responsibility to respond back. And if they are using the same IPv6 address, then they send back a message where they announce or where they advertise themselves. That is 
that is also done by a message that is a neighbor advertisement. In that neighbor advertisement, they send this information that they are using some IPv6 address and if there is a conflict. So in, this, in, in case of conflict, they just avoid using the duplicate addresses. So this is a function by which a client machine, before using the IPv6 address which has been assigned to it, so before using that, it makes sure that no one else on the network is actually using the same IPv6 address. Because if two host machines will be using the same IPv6 address, then there will be conflict and communication will not be possible. So we must avoid that and we have a mechanism to avoid that, that is duplicate address detection and that is really uh, important in network. So thank you with this simple video. Uh, oh yes, sure there are uh, details that what will be in neighbor solic solicitation message, what will be particular in the neighbor advertisement message. So that is the detail we will discuss in some other videos. But in the simplest sense, this is the job of duplicate address detection in IPv6. And thank you. Thank you very much for your time and see you in some other IPv6 related videos.